so good morning to one and all uh, myself rk pulkarni so professor rk pulkarni of csrgs and junior college ambajore so first of all i want to thank cbsc board and maharashtra government and our management and higher authorities for providing a session of online teaching or virtual teaching so in this today's first session or lecture one we can see regarding our subject of ninth class so that in ninth actually we are having six subjects five plus one so five are compulsory and sixth one is it is called as occasional or additional subject so it will play an important role so if any of the student so he or she is going to get very less marks in either science or maths or social that can be replaced by this subject that is no other than it is called as it subject and in that it also that is having some special code subject code that is called as 402 code 402 code is very very important for the students those who are very very slow learners again uh, one more thing is that whatever we are going to study for ninth class and uh, same things are carried out for 10th class also 9th and 10th same syllabus will be there same subject will be there so because to become the practice so uh, nobody should fail in exam so they must have the better life for first year second year hsc 1 2 in that case so cbc board introduced the same subject same syllabus and more than that it is 402 code that is called as it it subject code so that is very very important again that it will be again continued in hsc 1 or cbc 11th class and 12th class that is called as artificial intelligence there also in that again uh, 4 plus 1 five subjects will be there but right now we can see for 9th and 10th class so right now we can uh, deal with the 9th class that is called as so it subject it stands for information technology and the code is repeatedly i am telling the code is called as 402 code because different codes are there but for us 402 code is so we need it so as our 9th class and 10th class same subject that is it information technology code is 402 so that it subject so it is having mainly two parts part a and part b so that subject is actually it is of theory as well as practical class so theory of 50 marks and practical of 50 marks so practical again it includes the recall writing and viva practical exam so we are going to have some programs so like that and regarding theory part a part theory in that theory also again it will be having part a and b part a is called as it is employment skills or communication skills it is related to english grammar and part b it is called as so our subject that is called as so occasional skills computer subject it subject we can call computer computer application it so almost all 90% syllabus will be same for that one only subject name and the code is different so let me start with our subject hmm. yes so here so regarding our subject so it is 9th class cbsc boards it subject i repeatedly once again i am telling it is 402 code recently introduced recently introduced so that so each and every student they must get, get pass in their exam and they can have the better future for the for that purpose only they have introduced this 402 code okay this it or 402 code so information technology of 402 code so it is again divided into two parts theory as well as practical theory is of 50 marks and practical of 50 marks so practical will be institutions or management so by the teacher or faculty and theory we are going to write in final exam that is by the cbse board that is delhi delhi committee board they will decide the question paper okay so again this theory it is again classified into part a and part b as i am telling part a is called as employment skills that is called as it is called as communication skills you can call it is called as grammar also later on we can see one by one lecture 1 2 3 so on but regarding the occasional skills so occasional skills that is nothing but our computer subject or it subject so many lessons or chapters are there in detail one by one so for each one and a half month one lesson we can cover up to uh, january or february we can complete the syllabus again in 10th class we can go for the same syllabus we can become perfect we can get good marks so as i observed in 9th and 10th especially in 10th course in uh, some of the institutions or maximum institutions so the passing percentage of the subject for the it is more it is more than 95 to 99 in some schools or institutions it is 100 also so that's why it is very important here then 
chapter 1 it is called as fundamentals of computers so first chapter it is called as fundamentals of computers so in this we can deal with so today i'm going to explain regarding part 1 it is the definitions part 2 it is the types of computers and part 3 is called as the characteristics of computers one by one you can learn so step by step so i am doing fundamentals of computers starting with when I'm doing fundamentals, means almost pillar things, basic things. So pillar must be better one, so that we can have better building or better knowledge like that. So fundamentals of computer, in that as I'm telling computer, we can deal with the computer definitions, that we can deal with the types of the computers, and we can deal with the characteristics of computers. Okay, first, as I'm telling definitions, so as per me, I have divided this computer definition to three different levels based on students' knowledge or students' level. That is called as so definition one. It is for very very tiny children, small children. So that may be you can consider up to fifth class. You can consider definition one and definition two. You can consider from sixth to tenth class and definition three. You can consider from so that is eleventh, twelfth, and college level also. So one by one, I can define it. So definition one, it is as I'm telling computer. Computer is defined as it is an electronic device. Which is nothing but the combination of TV and typewriter. So as we as we can see in our lab, so computer, so we can see one monitor. It is like a TV, TV screen, and we can see the keyboard. It is like a typewriter. That's that's why I can define in simple manner for pre-primary to fifth class computer is the combination of or it is the electronic device is the combination of TV plus typewriter. TV plus typewriter is equal to computer. That is for very small children at the maximum up to fifth class if they can't remember higher level. Okay, so then we can deal with the second one definition two. Definition two regarding our computer subject or computer. So definition two we can uh, explain like this. So that is for sixth to tenth class. So computer is defined as an electronic device which takes input from the input devices such as keyboard, mouse, scanner, just etc. And according to the given instructions by the user. It will process into the CPU, central processing unit. It is also known as heart and mind of the computer. And after processing, we will get the results that will be displayed through the output devices that is called as monitor, printer, graphics plot. So it takes input, then it will process into the CPU, then it gives the result through the output device, maybe monitor, printer, graphics plotter. That is the second type of definition, second level of definition for 6th to 10th class students. Then coming to the next one, definition 3, it is called as, so computer is an electronic device. Each time I am telling computer is an electronic device, electronic device, because now we are in electronic type of generations. Because when we open the device, it may be a radio, it may be TV, it may be TV, tape recorder, it may be computer. Whatever we open inside that one, we will be having one green circuit or digital circuit or electronic circuit or motherboard, main board, that's why it is called as electronic device. So, third definition, computer is defined as an electronic device which is having the ability or capacity to perform all arithmetic, relational and logical operations repeatedly and accurately. Arithmetic, maybe addition, subtraction, multiplication like that. Relational, maybe comparing two quantities. So, 10 is greater than 5, yes or no, the result will be either true or false, yes or no, like that. And even logical operations, logical and or not. In detail, we can study later on. But the definition of third one, it is, once again I am repeating, so computer, it is an electronic device which is having the ability or capacity to perform all arithmetic, relational and logical operations repeatedly and accurately. I am telling repeatedly, again and again. If you use same, if you ask same question, it will give you the correct result only. Repeatedly it will work for continuous 24 hours like that. So and accurately I am telling, accuracy also it will give. It never ever gets bold. So that is the third definition. So it is the combination of type TV and type data. It takes input and process into the CPU and gives the output. Here it is having the ability or the capacity to perform all the arithmetic, relational, and logical operations repeatedly and accurately. That is the third definition. But for as I mean for 9th class and 10th class, as per the CBSC, as per our subject, as per the definition, especially we have to concentrate on this. You can define anyone, you, you can use your own words also in paper, but so second definition or definition to as I explained it, computer is an electronic device, it takes input and as for the given instructions, it will process in the CPU, 
and use the output through output device that is specially for 9th and 10th children. Okay, then later on again in 11th to 12th college level you can study. But right now only you are having the knowledge it is better only because nowadays technology is improved. That's why. Okay, then coming the first part is over. Then second part we can deal with the types of the computers. So how many types are there? So but before that just I want to tell you. So computer and having the computer spellings. If I spell computer, C O M P U T E R. Computer full form. If anybody asks you computer full form or who invented, at least we must have the basic knowledge. Again, in detail later on in another classes, another lectures, we can see that one. So computer full form, it is called as commonly operated machine, particularly or personally used for trade, educational research. So this is called as computer. And who invented computer means normally computer it was invented by Charles Babbage. An American scientist, so uh, he invented that one in 1833 by combining differential engine and analytical engine. 1823 differential, 1828 analytical, and 1833 he designed the modern computer that is nowadays what we are using. That was called as modern computer because at that time they used the punch cards. That's why modern computer. Okay. Then types of computers. So actually, mainly there are three different types are there. Mainly, mainly I am doing three different types of computer. One is called as digital computer, one is called as analog computer, and third one is called as hybrid computer. We can define step by step. Digital, digital. I am telling digital. Digit stands for binary digit, either zero or one. So we can define like this. Digital computer is defined as the first type of computer, so which operates by counting. That means it can use. Zeros and ones. Zeros and ones. When I'm telling zeros and ones, computer can understand only ones and zeros. When I'm telling zero, zero is called as off. So there is no current through the motherboard. That is light emitting diode is off. When I'm telling one, so current is flowing through the motherboard. That is LED is on. Current supply is there. Like this, it will recognize computer and this is the machine. It can recognize ones and zeros. That is called as binary language. That is called as first generation language. That is called as machine level language. So that's why the digital computer is the type of the computer which operates or which works by counting one zero one zero one zero one zero like that. Whatever we are writing A B C D or one two three some numbers as per us high level language, each instruction or each character will be converted into ones and zeros. That is known as digital computer. So almost all maximum people or millions of users they use among three maximum people they use digital computer and in our lab also we can see. These are the digital computers only. The next question is so analog computer. Next step is analog computer. Analog computer is defined as the second type of computer which operates by measuring rather than counting. I'm telling measuring. It will measure. What it will measure? It will measure the voltage and current signals. Voltage and current signals. Quantity it will measure. Voltage signals in terms of volts and the current signals in terms of amperes. So that is called as second type of computer. So second type of computers we are not only using schools or colleges. That is used by specialized companies or industries or governments. So then come to the third one. It is called as hybrid computer. Hybrid computer is the third type of computer. So it is the combination of digital plus analog, or it is a mixture of both, which is having the characteristics of both digital computer, that is, which operates by counting also. And is going to measure the voltage and current signals also. That is, digital computer plus analog computer is equal to hybrid computer. Mathematically, we can tell hybrid computer is equal to so digital computer plus analog computer. Digital computer works by operating. Analog computer works by measuring. So then hybrid both like that. Okay, this is the second part. Again, in this digital computer, we can again classify this digital into five different types. So one is called as micro computer. One is next. Second one is called as mini computer. Third one is called as mainframe. Fourth one is called as super frame or super computer. We can tell either super frame or super. But nowadays they are calling it as super computer. Previously we used to call that one as super super frame computer. So then it is laptop. Extended version of mini is laptop. Okay, one by one I can define micro computer. It is the type of digital computer. Digital computer is the type of computer. Computer is an electronic device. So which takes input and as per the given instructions will process and then give the output. Okay, micro meaning is only microorganism as per the biology and even microscope like that only micro means what smallest as per the English grammar. So superlative degree is there like that. 
so small smaller smallest like that smallest smallest digital computer so used to perform the calculations of used to process the data like that at least you can remember micro is the smallest digital computer used to store the data used to store the data check on meaning it is the medium size based on the size and plus time smallest meaning is medium size digital computer used to store the data i am main friend it is a large size i am telling large size digital computer used to store the data when the size is large and the capacity is also much more large only here it is medium capacity is medium the size is small so that's again it can store the amount very small as compared to others compared to others but then also so we can see in terms of gbt be like that no problem but main frame it is a large size digital computer used to store large amount of data then super frame computer or super computer it is the fourth type of digital computer so super frame computer we can define like this super frame computer is the type of the computer so which is the largest i'm telling largest so largest type of digital computer so which is specially used to store extremely very 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 large amount of data that is called super frame hence the name super computer that's why it is called super computer so we are going to use in military applications we are going to launch the rockets missiles control the satellites and that case we are going to use super computer because the name is called super computer or super so then the next one is called as laptop computer so laptop so each and every member you are knowing you are aware of the laptop computer laptop is the external version of mini computer so laptop computer is defined as it is the type of digital computer or external version of mini computer so laptop computer it works on battery so just we have to like our mobiles we have to charge and one more thing is laptop computer we can carry anywhere but this whatever you are having this digital computers micro computers analog computers super frame computers those, those are fixed those are fixed so we cannot carry each and every day we cannot carry to the bus stands we cannot carry to the airports but laptop we can carry but only thing is that we have to charge them so on cmos battery complementary metal oxide semiconductor it is going to work by charging we can utilize one charging is or again we have to charge that's all okay so this is the second section but again when i am doing computer types digital and analog everything is still fine that's again in micro again in micro magnetic three are there one is called as it is called as pc personal computer second one is called as pc xt personal computer with external technology and third one is called as personal computer admos that is called as pcat pc pc xt pcat nowadays we are using pcat all these computers are pcat again in pcat we can see p1 p2 p3 p4 like that but maximum nowadays we are going to use p4 p5 p4 p5 stands for intel pentium processor for intel pentium processor 5 I am telling you, same Intel, Intel, Intel. So Pentium processor is our CPU or the heart and mind of the computer, and Intel is the company. Okay, where the first manufacturer, control unit or microprocessor. Okay. So we are using computer. We are using digital computer. We are using micro computer. In that, we are using PC eighty personal computer with advanced technology. In that, P three, P four, new versions or new editions, new or good feature configurations we are going to use. Okay, this is the second part. First part definitely is clear. Second part is types of computers, and third part we can come to characteristics of computers. So, what are the characteristics of computers or properties of computers? So, why we are using computers? Nowadays, we are using computer, mobiles. So, without mobiles, without computer, so without internet, we cannot live also. Okay. So, if we fast forward two days, we can have a water at least, and but. Each and every day, at least we need the computers and mobiles. But only thing is that how we use. So only for good purpose we have to use the computers and mobiles, especially in school level and college level. Okay, characteristics of computers. Why we are going to use the computers? Because it is having a lot of good features, good characteristics are there. What are the characteristics? We can see one by one. That is called as first one is called as fast processing machine. Our computers now it is called as machine. it is man made machine it is a machine it is fixed so characteristics of computers in that it is first one is called as fast processing machine so it will process very spontaneously so that is based on the speed in terms of gigahertz megahertz like that we are going to count so in terms of gigahertz only very fast so if i give some problem to some student 
that depends on the brain or the IQ of the student that person may solve within 5 minutes, 10 minutes, one day or one week or some students they cannot solve also. But at that case, our computer within fraction of seconds it will process everything. That's why it is the first characteristics or feature of computer that is called as fast processing machine. Our computer is fast processing machine. Quickly it will give the result. Second one. So storage capacity. Our computer is having so huge storage capacity. Normally we used to measure in terms of bits and bytes. So that is, it may be bits, bytes, KB, MB, GB, TB like that. So again in detail we can see in storage capacity for other classes, for the lecturers. But storage capacity is having, why we are going to use the computer? Because it can remember everything. We cannot remember, it will remember. It will remember everything. That too huge storage capacity. That's what we use. Okay. Third one, accuracy. So accuracy means what? Accurate result or correct result or point to point result. So if I ask, so what is the value of pi? Somebody will tell, so pi is equal to 22 by 7. Somebody will tell, so 22 by 7 is equal to again it is 3.14. Somebody will tell 3.142. Somebody will tell again. But our computer with accuracy we give the result that is called as pi value is equal to 22 by 7 is equal to 3.1412 on 36. So as for max it is 3.142. But as per computer it is called as, so 3.1412136 because it is called as accuracy, exact result, point to point result. That is the third character. So fourth character, reliability. Reliability or flexibility you can call. So our computer, so it never ever gets tired. As we work for 8 hours, we may get time based on the energy. So based on the age, we can work. Angstas, they can much work much more. And but... Here our computer, it never ever gets tired or bored. So for 24 hours into 7 days, continuously it will work as we are seeing daily games like that. So reliability, flexible or reliable, it will work continuously. It never ever tells, I get bored, I want to play the cricket in the playground. So if I ask, same question again and again, it will give the correct results. That is called as reliability or flexibility. It never ever gets bored. If I ask, same question to some students, they will get bored. They may give some wrong answer or next other answers like that. But computer will give accurate answer and correct answer. Reliable. So for last one it is portability. But many are there but one as the time is very short. So last one I am going to tell you portability. So our computer is portable. So portable means what? So that means so we can make the movement of the computer from one place to another place. Here computer is there, that computer I can take here, that computer I can take here like this. I can move, make the movement. Even sometimes, so one program of one system can, can be executed in another system also as Java is, it is machine uh, independent, that is called as portability like that. So once again, so fast processing machine, second one is storage capacity, high storage capacity or huge and accuracy. So accurate result is going to you, reliable, so it never ever gets tired. So then portability means we can make the movement of the system from here to here or we can uh, have the transfer of hard disk from here to there like that or DVD like that. So this is the characteristics of the computer, these are the types of the computer and this is the definitions of computer and these three parts are small unit of chapter 1 again in detail. So next part of the chapter 1 will be continued in next session. So thank you, have a nice day. Stay at home, save your life also, save others life also. So, so again we can meet in.